Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Trap Reviewers. In this video, I'm gonna go over the teardown that iFixit did of the brand new 2017 MacBook and MacBook Pro. Now, if you're in the market for one of these machines like I am, personally, the 2017 MacBook Pro 15 inch, I was kind of curious to see what has actually changed between the 2016 model and the 2017 model. Apparently, not a whole lot. As I scroll down here, you guys will see you know, a couple pictures, but here are the highlights from their teardown that they did. Keyboard trigger looks like a more classic switch this go around. The plastic butterfly mechanism appears to have thinned out to accommodate the new switch form factor. The keystroke and travel feel about the same to us, so perhaps a real change is reinforcement for repeated use. It sounds like they've changed up the keyboard just a tiny bit, but nothing anyone will actually notice. I'll probably hit up the Apple store pretty soon and just check it out and see for myself. It says the control and option keys got some new ink. They now mark keyboard shortcuts rather than translating for PC users. So I'll put an image on the screen of what they're talking about there. Touch bar continues to add a second screen to damage, and we still haven't figured out a way to remove it safely. We'll keep trying though. Both Macs scored a one out of 10 on the repairability scale, which is absolutely awful. In both units, the processor RAM and flash memory are still soldered to the logic board. Battery assemblies are still entirely and very solidly glued into the case, thus complicating replacement. So if you guys plan on upgrading your MacBook Pro, you can't pretty much. If you plan on breaking it, well, don't do that because if you want to repair it, it's going to be insanely hard, if not impossible to do uh, without sending it to Apple. And they'll probably just give you a new one anyway or a refurb or whatever they do these days. I just wanted to give you a quick little update on the 2017 MacBook and MacBook Pro. Not a whole lot has changed on the inside, still almost impossible to repair. That's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.